All right, let's try another one. This is one where we have three variables and three equations. This is a Y down here and kind of got cut off, at least on mine. Maybe it didn't on yours. But the idea here, and this is the tricky part, is starting this off. The idea is we want to pick either X, Y, or Z to eliminate. And it doesn't matter which one you pick. In this particular case, it's about as easy to pick um, any of these, really. Like, it, it really doesn't matter which one you pick, you can do any of the letters easily. So I am looking at the first two equations and, and I say, well, I can really easy elim easily eliminate the x's. And so I would want to multiply one of my equations by a negative one to make that happen. So I have the first equation is x plus y plus two z equals 11. And now I'm gonna multiply by a negative one on the second equation. And I'm gonna add through to eliminate. So the x go away, and actually this is nice, the y's go away as well. And that might freak you out at first, but that actually makes things simpler for us. Negative z equals negative three, which means z equals positive three. Now, uh, that worked out really nicely. Now we already have what z equals, but we don't have any place where we have an equation with just two variables to plug that into. So even though it was nice that that happened, we still are gonna have to come back over here and eliminate again. Typically, in a problem like this, we would want to eliminate the x's again. We don't have to here, we could eliminate the y's, but let's go ahead and eliminate the x's again. So I can actually do the last equation, x plus two y minus z equals five, with again, negative one times the middle equation. So negative x minus y minus three z equals negative 14. And now I'll add the equations together and let's eliminate. So that gives us y minus four z equals negative nine. Now typically we would have on our first one gotten like y minus z equals negative three. On the second one we have y and z. So typically what you would have to do in that situation is put those together and eliminate again. But that didn't happen. We just have z equals three. So we're gonna plug that in to this equation that we just got. So y minus four times three equals negative nine. So y minus 12 equals negative nine plus 12 on each side. And you get y equals three. Now take it all the way back to the beginning. And I'll just use the first one. It looks easy enough. X plus y, which is three, plus two times z, which is also three, equals 11. Three plus six is nine. Track nine, x equals two. Uh, so our point here, x, y, z, is two comma three comma three. Now just like with uh, two variable equations, we can take that and we can plug it back in. If we like, if we got a number and we were feeling unsure if that was the right answer, you could plug it into any of the three equations or all of the three equations up here and check to see if what you get works out, if it's really a solution or not.